We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up PDD stock. We are on the monthly time frame. Price action, last candle to the right hand side, is an area of consolidation, also coming from an area of support. So we do have price action overall, higher highs. Price action overall, lower lows. Midpoint. Also taking a look at price. Current price is sitting at 66.04. So if market works its way up to the next previous level, it can be in this area here at 85.71 and if price uh, makes it down to the next previous level it'll head down to the next midpoint of that overall SR line which would be 56.92 and if it breaks that area we're looking for price to tag that area near 47.91 and we can see prices in the mid range of the yellow SR lines so there's also a pattern that's forming in this area so let's talk about it so we have a decline W so we have that first leg second leg third leg fourth leg and then market uh, second last candle retest and price action pushed up once so it's actually identifying as a head and shoulders pattern as I just drew it draw it out and we can see price has stopped at that midpoint of that area so If that market works its way down, it's coming from that area of the break and retest of that midpoint. So market broke, retest, broke, came back for a full retest, and then pushed down trying to catch that support. So it can drop down from this area. If so, it's coming from the overall first, second, third, looking for that engulfment pattern towards the price second and third to last candle mark is coming down from that double top. May receive the break and retest or pattern in that area to push that market down to previous areas or well, market can consolidate within with the price second and third to last candle to receive that pattern for the breakout on the weekly time frame we have price action as a bullish green press up to the top candle so as base that market is identifying a doji and decisive so it also coming from a retest is also coming from overall pattern so if we read the overall pattern of the market is identifying that overall first second third fourth retest and market pushed up once so market's coming from a triple bottom broke that area came for a retest looking for engulfment which we did have and market is matching up with the previous area so we're looking for market to break to the next area up may retest and it pushed up further if not just paying attention to this area within price action Market can be coming from that first, second. We do have a price action as a doji. So if we receive a bearish red candle, market is identifying that third leg and pushing down for that fourth. So we're looking for a pattern to form itself in this area. Also, price action and second last candle has broken that SR line. So we may identify market coming back for that retest for that market to push up. If so, it's coming from a pattern at the low we talk about as we go down the time frame because we'll be able to see it clear on the daily time frame we got we have price action as a bullish green candle doji with the press up to the top so it's tagging an area resistance but we can also see it as losing momentum so it's a chance that market can identify that break with the price action and we're looking for a candle to identify itself that can come back down to that full retest of that SR line. So price may be headed back to previous levels of 56.92, or at least maybe in that mid range of that area. So may just lead up to 60.95. If it breaks that area, then it's gonna it can lead up to 56.92, unless we see some type of other pattern to show that market's gonna push its way up. 
and as I talked about the, on a previous time frame, price action is coming from multiple pushes down to the bottom. I did identify on a weekly time frame as a double bottom, as identifying here as a triple bottom. So we do have that first, second, third, fourth retest. Market pushed up once. Second can't last can retest and the price action push losing momentum may come back down to that midpoint or may break that area come back to, like i said before for that full retest back to the sr line and also there's also overall patterns that can push that market down as well let's walk down the time frame on the four hour time frame price action is identifying as a bearish red candle with the press up to the top identical to the second to last candle but less of a long wick if we receive this price action to engulf the second last candle, market can head back down to that midpoint area, as I said before. So we do have a high SR line is the low, the white SR line is the low. And we do have a midpoint. So we do, if we do receive a uh, engulfment towards that bearish red candle to the second last candle, price can head back to previous levels of 61.50. It can catch some momentum and work its way up unless we see that the market's going to work its way down as we walk down the time frame. On a three hour time frame, we got price, second, third, last candle, all consolidating. So as market's consolidating sideways, so we're waiting for that break of that market. Um, also, it can be an area of support. So if it engulfs this SR line, the third to last candle market can work its way down to, like I said, overall midpoint of that area, unless it's respected as a support. So that I'll identify, there's also a huge gap in this market right here. So for the fourth to last candle, there's a huge gap between that area. So market can be identifying as the push with the third to last candle. Price action second to last candle is a retest. It can be respected for that market to push up. If that does happen, you do want to see price engulf this, take uh, head back up to this SR line of 67.92. And depending on the pattern or design, it may have to engulf the third to last candle to really push that market up to the next previous area of 71.95. Headed down to the two hour time frame. We're in the same as well. Starting to receive a little bit of structure on here, but we'll talk about it as we walk down the time frame. Still consider consolidation. Why? Because the dominant candle in that area is the, the eighth candle in the market, which is bullish green candle. So price action and all the previous candles are all in within that area. So we want to see something break above that area or below. That's why we have the SR lines that we created in blue. 45 minute time frame, still we're seeing the same thing. We do have an engulfment, but it's now is near the SR line, but we can see that pattern trying to form. We'll talk about it under 30. So here we go right here. So if that market does, is near the SR line, we look still looking forward to break the previous candle. So you guys can get an entry or just wait to see what it's gonna do, let the market do what it do. But I would just definitely wait because we can see that that market is, is can be drawing out that first leg, second leg, third leg, got the engulfment for that fourth leg close to matching up to the previous side and then we're looking for a can do or maybe a break and retest for that market to push down to the uh, furthest level which like i said before still breaking down price action high low is the sr line you still got that midpoint in this area here so we're still looking for price to head back to that midpoint near 63 dollars On a 15 minute time frame, this also this market can be respected for a new structure as in trying to form out that overall first leg, second leg, third leg. If we receive a pattern, it's gonna to have to be a bullish green candle. It's gonna engulf this price action candle to push that market up for that W. On a five minute time frame, still reading the same thing, but the five minute time frame price action on the five minute time frame is a bearish red doji, so it's losing momentum. So you're gonna see if that market's gonna push down further or engulf with a bullish green candle to push that market back up to the previous areas. The way you break down this section, if we do receive a price action candle to engulf, if we receive a candle to engulf the price action candle like a bullish green candle, we've gotta break it down as in sections of highs. This will be the low. So we wanna see price, if we do receive that pattern at the low, to come back to that previous areas of that midpoint of 66.65 unless this is just identifying uh the third the second last candle identifying the break second last price action is a retest and we can receive a push with the bearish red candle following up three minute time frame we're in the same thing side by side double bottom a single bottom and a retest the same as well we can see that consolidation happening okay guys pdd stock